the Lewis structure and shape of iodine pentachloride. Iodine, which we remember, is in group 7. It's got 7 electrons of its own. It's going to bond to 5 chlorines. We'll put the chlorines around, <coughs> around the iodine roughly evenly spaced for the moment and each one of these requires a shared pair of electrons. Three, bear with me a moment, four and five. Okay, now iodine, if we count the, if we say iodine's electrons are the blue ones, there's one, two, three, four, five, it's used. It's got two more. Now these two more will appear as a lone pair. Now that's going to mean that overall there are six regions of electron density. And those six regions of electron density then will be, will adopt a shape based on an octahedron or octahedral orientation. So we'll bring in an octahedron. However, only five parts of the octahedron are going to have a chlorine on them. These two are further away. It's supposed to be a three-dimensional representation. These two are closer together. And this last lone pair that we have down here is going to be unseeable. We cannot see it, which is fair enough. So this is a three-dimensional representation. Now, this is going to give us a square pyramid. However, it's going to be slightly distorted. These four chlorines will be pushed up slightly with respect to the plane because of the extra repulsion of this lone pair. The lone pair bonding pair repulsion is greater than the bonding pair bonding pair repulsion. So we're going to have a slightly distorted square pyramid.